good evening students this problem was sent to me by belka well on udemy okay in the q a section you can have a look although i have written the entire description and made a pretty good schematic okay so uh, i have already delivered the graphical solution and it's here okay these are the final values that we got this is the uh, force triangle and based on it we have done all the calculations you can see the previous video bell has asked me to make a solution based on the net torque is equal to zero technique or what is known as the equations of equilibrium in today's video we are going to be using that going for f of x zero f of y zero net moment or net torque is equal to zero we are essentially going to be applying all of these equations and getting these same values not just the magnitude of forces but also the angle which angle of resultant a which eventually works out a little less than 60 degrees this is going to be fun watch it for the next five minutes here we go let me start so this over here is the original arrangement which has been given to us very well now what what we'll do is we are going to just focus on this rod ab which is essentially hinged at point a so whenever you see a hinge if you remove this support it is going to be replaced by a horizontal and a vertical again a horizontal and a vertical right so this is point a we are talking about a x similarly a y in the same fashion here this rod is supported with the help of a cord cable or a string you can say so if you are removing the string you have to replace it with a tension t something of this sort and in the problem we've been clearly stated that this distance ac is equal to ab and also d is exactly at the center therefore ad is equal to db this also is a condition which has been given in the problem apart from ac equals ab so make sure that you use it to good effect okay <clears throat> if you consider a b c as a triangle let's say this is x and this is y we know from the principles of geometry x and y both are interior angles what interior angles and the sum of interior angles sum of interior angles or interior opposite angles is to equal to the exterior angle so x plus y essentially is equal to 45 degrees can i write this yes i surely can if you want i can zoom in if you consider 45 degrees as an exterior angle okay because this side ca has been slightly extended so this qualifies as an exterior angle exterior angle is equal to the sum of two interior opposite angles this is very basic geometry which we learn at the school level so now the next condition is we know very well that's a length ac as well as length ab since ac is equal to ab the opposite two angles are also going to be equal that means x is equal to y therefore you can say if this angle is x this angle has also got to be x okay so we are good to go what we are left with sum of two interior opposite angles x plus x is equal to 45 degrees on solving this you are going to get the value of x is 45 over 2 which becomes 22.5 degrees so essentially we can write both of these angles as 22.5 done and dusted now why did we calculate these angles because they are going to help us in our moment or net torque equation you'll see that very very soon don't worry that's the first thing now what um i think uh can i make this schematic over to the left side okay let me make some space and let us do all the calculations one by one okay uh, as you know moment is nothing but force into perpendicular distance isn't it so if you are dealing with tension t if this is the force let's say you are taking the moment about a you would need this perpendicular distance right if you are talking about this force 250 newton force then if you are taking the moment about a this is going to be that perpendicular distance so it's very essential that you calculate them let me drop a perpendicular from a into the line of action of tension this right here 
is a perpendicular so if you are taking the moment about a then tension multiplied by perpendicular distance a e then if this is your force 250 so drop a perpendicular through a done okay now let me talk about the uh, sets so a uh, few more calculations and then we are going to get going with the moment or torque equation if you watch just just watch this closely how much would this length be this is af this is ad so af is equal to ad cos 45 can i write it like this hmm? always remember the side in front will have the sine component of the hypotenuse and the one remaining and the side and this side over here automatically is the cost component so ad cost 45 and you know very well that ad is half of ab so ab over 2 right secondly again if this angle is 22.5 this over here will be the sine component that means ab sine 22.5 is what we can write ae is equal to ab sine 22.5 so when these two calculations are done we can now transition to the moment equation okay where force and perpendicular distances along with their sense right have to be written down now take a look take a look at the moment equation if you keep your right hand thumb over here at a we are taking the moment about a basically okay so that we can get these two forces out of the picture the only two forces left are going to be this tension uh, this 250 newton force and this tension t right their perpendicular distances af and ae have already been worked out 250 multiplied by this af write it down if you keep your thumb over here and move your baby finger along this direction it's a clockwise moment therefore a negative sign right secondly if you take a look at this tension t t multiplied by ae it makes a anti-clockwise moment at a i hope you can understand all of these things keep your right hand thumb move your baby finger along this direction you will realize that the sense is anti-clockwise therefore a positive sign and just do it and please match the colors now okay i am now going to plug in the value of af as ab by 2 cos 45 and ae as ab sine 22.5 done now it becomes very easy a b can be taken as common and uh, over to the rhs there is zero so it will be out of the picture straight away you just need to do the calculation and uh, the value of t will work out as 230.9 newtons done and dusted and as far as the these a x and a y's are concerned we can work it out very easily just take a look now you need to make use of your of the remaining two equations of equilibrium that is summation fx and summation fy both of them equal to zero take a look summation f of x is equal to zero okay um in the x direction to the right hand side this ax since this is to the right therefore positive plus ax tension t take a look over here uh, it is slightly inclined right can we resolve this into components yes we can for that make a little bit of construction like this this angle is 22.5 why this is 22.5 if this is 45 this also has to be 45 that's the line this angle is 45 this also is 45 out of which this much is 22.5 so the remaining is 22.5 okay i hope you got this now tension t is going to have two components one component over to the lhs the cost component we can write it in this fashion t cos 22.5 whereas the sine component is headed in the downward direction we can write it as t sine 22.5 so uh here we need only the horizontal component this is to the left therefore minus t cos 22.5 equal to zero okay this is fairly easy just plug in the value of t as 230.9 over here and you'll get ax secondly vertical direction all the forces equated to zero okay 250 is downwards minus 250 okay first of all plus a y minus 250 done sir minus t sine 22.5 right you just need to plug in the value of t as 230.9 once you do that you'll get a y done <laughs> okay 
so <clears throat> now watch um what we can do basically just a sec now what we can do basically is if you watch uh, we've got ax and ay therefore it is very easy now to calculate the resultant we need the resultant's magnitude as well its direction both of them can be worked out take a look now um i mean uh, we know very well that the length of a vector represents its magnitude it's a force over here right so 213.32 and this is 338 right now it appears as if both the vectors are of equal length but it's not the case in reality okay so ay is bigger than ax so let me make it a bit smaller and let me shift this force over here take a look looks a bit smaller okay since it has a smaller magnitude than ay and here we are going to have the resultant the angle that the resultant makes with the horizontal let's say this is represented by alpha okay alpha and the value for which can be calculated using tan alpha is equal to ay over ax do we agree on this <laughs> yes we do you now just need to plug in the value of both ay and ax here this is what you get solve it it would be around 1.586 go for the tan inverse this is going to give you the value of alpha as 57.77 approximately it is 58 degrees right so all the answers are matching with the methodology in the previous video that was the graphical technique if you watch tension t in this analytical approach has worked out as 230.9 in the graphical approach it worked out as let me just show this to you yeah 230 okay our value is 230.9 right so this is the exact value secondly the value of resultant at a worked out as 400 if you watch in the graphical technique also the answer worked out as 400 okay and uh, finally you 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 we also went for the angle okay here it is the angle was 58 degrees so i think uh, all the values are perfectly matching here also it is 58 degrees right so with this problem you can basically compare the graphical as well as the analytical approach i hope this is clear to everyone thank you very much have a nice day